How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good morning to you. I'm Paul C. Cullum. Ari Alexander has the weekend off. The Arizona Wildcats took on the defending Pac-12 champs, Oregon, at McHale Center yesterday. One of the most entertaining games of this young season for the Wildcats. Let's head on out to the campus of the U of A. And McHale Center, where the Ducks came on strong. How about Peyton Pritchard hitting Elijah Brown? And take a look at the three-pointer going down. Oregon takes an early 7-2 lead, but after that, Look at the teamwork of the big man. DeAndre Ayton will give up a probable layup or dunk to hook Parker Jackson Cartwright up for the three. Yes, sir. Arizona takes a one point lead. And then the Serbian senior sensation, Dusan Ristic, will be putting in work. Just like that, Arizona leads 21 to 9. And hey, U of A president Dr. Robert C. Robbins was texting at the game, perhaps looking at the new football coaching negotiations. And he will look up to Alonzo Trier, finishing things up with a layup, and then back to the text messages. Could it be more updates with the U of A football coach search? Dr. Robbins will look up then to see Tiana Pinders dunking it down. Arizona would lead by three at the half. And there he is again with the Texan. Ah, oh, should I hire him? Should we not? Who's gonna be the next football coach? We don't know. Oregon made it close to coming back from double digits at time. Check out the defense with the swat by Michael McIntosh. And then Oregon will push the ball up. Elijah Brown. Busts another three-pointer. Oregon goes up 69-68. The Ducks would also lead with just over two minutes to play until Alonzo Trier throws it up to DeAndre Ayton for the DU1K as the crowd goes OMG. The Cats jump ahead by one in a possession later. Alonzo Trier is making it happen, Captain. This, folks, will put Arizona up by four. The Cats hit all their free throws down the stretch. Arizona holds on for the 90-83 victory. Might have been our overall best win of the season. Uh, just because uh, playing against a team and a program that we really respect and uh, they're on the rise. They're not the same team as, uh, as they were in the months of November and December. It was a huge win, especially because Oregon is rolling right now. They had a big win out in Phoenix when they beat ASU. And uh, we didn't want to lose because we had to protect our home court. And especially because we last time they came out here, they beat us. Hey, next up for the Arizona Wildcat basketball team, a trip to the Bay Area, California on Wednesday, and then Stanford later on in the weekend. Of course, the Arizona football coaching search still going on, and nothing official at this point for all the updates. You can see it all on KVOA.com. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala for News 4 Tucson Sports. Continue having a great weekend, my friends.